Hi everybody, it's Vince here from My Mate Vince and today I'm going to talk about some super strong magnets called neodymium magnets. These are rare earth magnets. They're a permanent magnet so you haven't got to charge them up or you know, put electricity through them. They're a permanent magnet so they always keep their magnetism. Uh, they are absolutely amazing. They're the strongest magnets in the world. You can get these little ones here. These are just little cylinder ones, 10 millimeters by 5 millimeters. You get a pack of 10 for around £5. And obviously the, the bigger the magnet, the more expensive they are. But they're so, so powerful. Now, they're a, they're a lot of fun to play with as an adult. You don't want to give these to your kids because they are so unbelievably strong. I mean, if you try to, when they're repelling together, if you tr just try to push them together, you can pretty much use all your strength and you're not going to get them together. Yeah? And they do attract from a long distance away. There's plenty of YouTube videos on these already if you do want to have a little scan about for them. Uh, but the, yeah, they're, they're, they're not a toy, so don't give them to your kids to play with because they are very dangerous because if they were to swallow these, then what can happen is in the intestine they can uh, start uh, attracting towards each other and they can go straight through the intestine wall. So uh, don't muck about with them, they're not toys, but you can have a lot of fun with them. In this video later on, I'm going to sh be showing you some magnet fishing. But uh, first things first, I just want to show you a little bit of safety about them. So if you could just uh, pause this video and have a little read through as I scroll this up. Hopefully you can read that. Okay. Now, uh, yeah, basically the, the problem with them is they are, uh, they are actually brittle. So if you were to, I mean, you can see that there's a few chips on here. And if you were to let them go from a distance, because these really do fly towards each other. So, you know, if you take one off and uh, you can just feel the, I can feel the attraction now. Yeah. They go a long way even harder to pull off, they go a long way to flying towards each other. So uh, what we did uh, earlier is uh, I attached a, a big neodymium magnet onto a bit of string and I dragged it through the river. I had my uh, nephew and niece and my uh, brother around and my kids as well. So we just thought we'd have a bit of fun and we went magnet fishing. Now just to show you what's what, basically I did have a, a nice big magnet here but what, what was happening was I was trying to, uh, I was trying to find out how uh, how much it could lift the hammer up by and of course it did lift it up by quite a bit and it completely shattered because that's the problem with these things they do shatter very easily so what I've had to do is I've had to tape it all up and uh, yeah ignore these little ones these weren't on it earlier if you're wondering why it's covered in black rubbish that's because it was all in the uh, it was in the river earlier and of course it picks up every little bit of dirt there is around the place but uh, yeah if you get yourself one of these big block magnets these ones are about 15 or so pounds and obviously they don't look like this they come in a nice little rectangle shape all coated in silver to stop them uh, to stop them uh, rusting but uh, mine completely shattered a bit so I've had to just gaffer tape it up I've put a bit of rope a bit of a string around it and uh, yeah dragging it through the water and it's quite interesting to see what you find so if you have a little river nearby you try this it's a lot of fun you're not going to find anything expensive because you remember you're only going to you're not going to be picking up anything like gold or silver because they're not uh, they're not magnetic but uh, it's still a bit of fun especially if you've got the kids with you uh, it's interesting but yeah uh, check them out they are you know they are ridiculously strong I mean look this is a tiny little screw holding up all these give it a spin yeah I mean I think a lot can be done with magnets I mean you've got the maglev trains and stuff but uh, I think in the future there's going to be magnets used for a lot more things and uh, yeah they are handy to have around the house so basically my dad was getting out of his Volkswagen Golf and he managed to drop his you know the remote keys the the, the keys with the uh, the fob on them he managed to drop that down a drain so uh, he rang me up, I brought around, I didn't even bring around much, I brought around about that much magnets and what we did is we uh, got a long stick and I sellotaped them to the end of the stick and uh, literally it couldn't have been easier. We put the stick in the drain and the drain was about, the drain must have been a good four or five foot down and then there was a, a whole load of water with a load of silt at the bottom. I literally got the stick in moved it round and I thought, oh, you know, has it picked it up? Pulled it out, as soon as it came up the water, 
the keys were there. And uh, luckily, because they were only in there for about an hour or so, no water had got in, got in them. They absolutely stunk because obviously all that stagnant water in the drain. So they did stink, they needed a good clean. But uh, yeah, that was it. And I'm pretty sure if you'd gone to the dealer, I'm sure it would have been between 100 and 200 pounds to uh, for them to, to uh, you know get you the keys and then program them up. So it's well worth just getting some of these. Even if you're just gonna get a 10 pack off somewhere Something like eBay or Amazon. I don't sell them, but it's definitely worth getting them. Uh, yeah, they're a lot of fun. So if you check out the video now, I'm going to show you what we found in the river near my house. So uh, yeah, it was quite a quite a bit of fun. Okay. Come on, your my bridge. <laughs> Who's tip over my oh, bridge? Not it. me. Is it getting deep? Yeah, it's deep. This bridge's missing in the bottom. Oh, okay. I have to go around, maybe. Daddy, see the black what have you got? What I lift it up slowly. Hi. What is that? Whoa. <laughs> what is it? It's like tiny tea. What is it? Let's keep a second it. hammer gone. It's, it's a piston. It's probably from the motorbike. <laughs> that's yeah, a, we've really found some pieces of a motorbike uh, oh, from earlier ago. That's a piston, isn't it? So heavy. We've is already it, found pieces on the motorbike. We found this other piece. Like, Keep isn't searching, it? Ben. We yeah, found this other me. mechanic bit. And we found this other mechanic bit of the motorbike. Hi, guys. And we found this little um, sign like thing which we dinked from I the motorbike. I'd say it's a starter motor for automatics. Uh, I'm just going to go with Cool. Me. It's, uh, we're going to have a whole car by the time we finish for a whole yeah. motorbike. That's really deep. I found it. You I did, mean, uh, keep, keep going, keep going. I found a piston, Dad. Well done. It's recording, but I'll uh, I'm recording. Stop. Give it a. Have you lost it? I'm through the tunnel. <laughs> what is it? I don't know yet. A stick might help. It's really complicated. No, no, no. I think it was just getting slightly caught in something, do you know? In the silt? No, just there's a rock down here. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or up a brick or something. Yeah, okay. Is there definitely something yep. there, unless it's a pipe again? Are you actually touching it with a snake? And you're, are you able to pull it off it that easily, yeah? Uh, Might not be, uh, what could it, what, is, there, is it possible to be... It's slightly buried, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it is. got that much metal in it. Mm -hmm. Might be more interesting. Is it? Does it feel big? Move, move, move along. Can you? Uh... Move it that way. So it's all back to the wall, I think. Really? Oh. Then a bit down there. Just keep doing it a few times, then it might loosen it up. Or maybe go to the edge maybe of it. It's the pipe. Uh, it might be the pipe because it goes all the way to. Oh, can you see a pipe? Can you? Oh no! Oh my God! I just, got, I just lifted it up. Yeah, go on, go on. Keep doing it. Watch out there, Deckard. I don't want you to fall in. Whoa. Here we go, here we go. Here here's it comes. Here it comes. Here's a, here's a pipe. It's like, what is it? Ah, oh, Sinead. A pipe. It's not an old Roman pipe, is it? It's pretty big. It is, isn't it? Yeah. It won't come off now. Sinead's just pulled up a major gas line. <laughs> Oh, okay, we'll turn that one off. Keep a... What have you got? Have you got something? Yeah, I've got, like... Stop it. <laughs> it's not as strong as the pipe signal. Oh, come on, Jack, we need 250 pounds. <laughs> no. It's definitely... Whoa! Have you got your hands under? Yeah. Can't you not just pull the string up, no? It's strong. <laughs> it's big. It's... What have you got? This is the best brother ever. Oh my god, what have you got? <laughs> Whoa! What is that? What is that? What have you got? Oh my Dad. god. He's got, I think Can he's, we keep it? He's got an old Betamax, I think. <laughs> is that what they're called? Dad, look. Dad, we can keep it. Let's go, put it out, put it out. Can you help me? I'll oh, tell you what, that magnet is strong. Hello. They're going out of the way, come on. Go on, get it. It will get lighter as the water drains out of it. <laughs> Go on, muscles. <laughs> I can't lift it any further. Oh, really? Can two of you lift it? Hi, Clem, come on. It's ben, 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 don't get your wedding. Don't get your... Keep, keep dragging it to shallower water. 
good finds. Can I keep it, Dad? <laughs> keep it, eh? It's not a... Are we going to keep it, Dad? Yeah. Go on. Don't hurt your back. I'll go and grab that. Okay. Right. Not have wellies on. Drag it out, Sinead. Just drag it. Drag it. Drag it. No, I know it. Just Can we keep it, it, Dad? Oh, it might on. be an engine. It's not an engine. This looks like a video recorder or something. Good jump. Can you keep dragging it or not? Yeah. We didn't place these in it. That's what sure. we're at. This room is really good place for no, 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 That's one a good find. You put on the side of your computer. No, I don't know. Keep bring it. Bring it all the way out. Is it really heavy? It's quite heavy, yeah. Yeah? Can you not pick it up, Declan? No, he can't. can't. You're nearly there. Up, You're hard. nearly there. <laughs> I think it's one of them things you put on the side of your computer. I think it's an old video recorder. Is it? Let's see. Let's see the front. It is. What, is it a video recorder? Yeah, look. Yeah, it's not even that old. Can we have it? Oh, it's lasted quite well. Is it old? Not really. Good find though. Can we keep it? Mm. Let's see what... So somebody's obviously just launched that in there, haven't they? Is it old, Dad? Could be someone stealing from the houses on making his way back and he's got a... Uh, oh, oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Can we keep, what? Is it out? It's a video record, record. We've already got them, Ben. We don't even use the ones we've got. Put it to one side anyway. I'll turn this off now. Bye. What have you found there, Declan? It's something like, I don't know, it's like really old pot. Oh, yeah? Why didn't you? Whoa. Oh, it does look old. Whoa. Yeah, it's very old. Are we yeah. keep Got some it? patterns and everything. Be careful. Don't oh, get right, okay. I kind of want to wash it off a bit. Yeah. yeah. Around a sensible way. Because I'm trying to get all that mud off. It looks like we're going to have to get a good scrub to it to get all that oh, mud yes. off. Oh, yes. Nice. Okay. Very nice. Are we going to okay. 